one thing you use is hormone therapy. Can you explain that and how that pertains to cancer? When we hear about it a lot in the United States, it's it's an anti-aging type thing, trying to stay stay younger. But how does it apply to, to cancer treatments? Well, the two cancers which are susceptible to hormone manipulation, or the two main ones, are breast cancer and prostate, obviously. Now, prostate cancer cells are very sensitive to the male hormone. So most of the treatments in prostate cancer reduce the male hormone, of course. And, and they're very successful. I mean, they're still the, the, the gold standard treatment. Um, Taking a step back, should you reduce men's testosterone to try and prevent hormone, uh, to prevent prostate cancer, if that's what you, yeah, well, we know that eunuchs uh, don't get prostate cancer, but, you know, then uh, obviously you don't want to emasculate, um, you know, all the men in the population just to prevent a cancer. So um, the other uh, cancer which is uh, sensitive to hormones is, is breast cancer, of course. Uh, and we know that taking the contraceptive pill or HRT will increase your risk of breast cancer. Uh, and w then when we withdraw the female hormone, estrogen, you, it, it's a good treatment. But they have toxicities. You mentioned birth control pill. Mm -hmm. What do you suggest? A lot of women are on that for many, many, many years, not only for birth control, but to control menstrual mm -hmm. cycles as well. Is that recommended or is that, could that potentially cause something down the road? Well, there, there were a lot of studies to show, it took a lot of studies to show that, that um, the birth control pill does slightly increase your risk of breast cancer. So that's been pretty much established. Um, don't forget there are, um, it depends what your genetic makeup is. If you have a strong family history of breast cancer or if you carry your BRCA1 or BRCA2 gene, which are the breast cancer susceptibility mm -hmm. genes, you are probably more sensitive to estrogen pills. Um, but the risk isn't, isn't that much, and you have to balance out the risk of unwanted pregnancies and things like that. So, you know, it, and, um, so in a risk analysis, is probably safer to, to take the pill in, in, in many women. The other thing to take into account is that you can reduce your risk of breast cancer through other means. So not drinking excess alcohol, exercising, keeping your weight down, making sure you've got um, enough vitamin D, so sensible sunbathing without burning. And when you looked at the trials of the risks of hormone therapies, they didn't look at these other lifestyle categories. And my gut feeling is if you did look at that and you say, okay, you've taken the pill, but you do these other things, I think the risk will be balanced out.